Welcome to assessment task number three, the final essay. All right, this is the heavy end of the hammer. Assessment task number three is 30 points. You have had two assessment tasks equal in waiting to this so far. So you've been through two rounds of training. This last task is a group optional event. It is more complicated and is a hybrid of the past two exercises. Now, this is again due on a Wednesday night. It's due near the tail end of semester. What I want to draw your attention to is what I've set up here is an exercise that has 10 questions. It will be tempting, and I will be asked this question. Do I have to answer all 10 questions? And the answer to that is yes. Yes, if you want the marks. Each question will have its own proportion of the marks allocated to it. But also, each question is interconnected and interlinked, so this flowing sequence that you were taught and trained in assessment task number one comes into effect again here. When you talk about something like which stage of the product life cycle describes your product, that will determine which set of marketing strategies realistically are in place. When you talk about the market strategy, that's also going to influence the segment that you can go and discuss. And this is a good thing. This is your opportunity to really make a set of decisions that impact in sequence and to narrow things so it's easier to write for you. Now, there's a couple of specifications that I really do need to bring to your attention. First and foremost is that the product that you choose has to exist. Don't make up your own product. That's not an option. That is just adding a layer of unnecessary complexity for you. Secondly, I've no interest in telling you to come up with, in terms of what your product is, there's no points allocated to the type nature of the product. You can take the most commonplace ordinary product you can think of, you can take the most commonly used product that everyone else in the group is doing, that's neither here nor there. The points for this project come from how well you answer the questions and how well you use those questions as an opportunity to display your knowledge of marketing. Now, the second element that I really need to draw to your attention is in terms of the specification. This can be a group project. Now, you can be a group of one. You may be a group of up to four people. No group may be less than one person. No group may be more than four persons. That's it. There's no negotiation on that front. If you are five people who are currently sitting there going, but I want to work together, it's a two-three split. That's how it goes. In terms of requirements for originality, there is a much heavier emphasis on your own work, your own creative interpretation with the referencing. So what I'm looking for here is for you to be writing sentences that are inspired by the works of others, where you have read and remember that you've had materials previously from the assessment task number two, that library of materials that you developed then some of those citations may be able to be used again here. Some of those ideas can be reused. It's not like you have a one-use token for each journal article you acquire. Secondly, the thing that I'm looking at here in terms of your citations and your references is that I want you to be acknowledging your influences. And I want you to be influenced by the works of others. I want you reading around a lot of marketing texts. So you'll be back on Google Scholar again, looking at what's out there, what's available. Each of these blocks, if you look at this in terms of 
you have the product lifecycle as a key concept. You've got the Ansoft matrix as a key concept. You've got segmentation as a key concept. Those first three of those first four questions have dozens, if not hundreds, of articles dedicated to discussing how they work and how they apply. When we head down to product, price, promotion, we're again looking at blocks of knowledge where people have written on these areas. So there's no excuse to not cite. And if you want to do well, you're going to need to use the citation referencing. If you want to do something above average, you're going to need citation referencing. The other element that's going to be really heavily leaned on this time is the originality report will be an important factor. If your work is cliche, you're going to do badly. I'm not going to penalise you for plagiarism if it's not plagiarism. I'm going to penalise you for being ordinary. For reusing the work of others when you had the opportunity to present your own case. So the originality is how you take an idea and use it in the context of your essay. If you loosely paraphrase an existing set of sentences, you will be found largely because so many other people are loosely paraphrasing sentences that your work will be cliche, trite, unoriginal and boring. And I don't give points for boring. So this is your challenge. You have to be interesting. The words you use have to be your own. And here's the thing. It'll be easier to be interesting. You are selecting the product. You are selecting the company. You are in control. This is your show. You're going to do it your way. When you pick that product and you pick that company, you then have to adapt the knowledge that's out there to suit your answer and your explanation. When you do that and you do it your way, congratulations, you are showing the creative spark that we call on and we draw on as marketers. So this is what your training's about. This is your really big step up is it's time to be original. It's time to use the justification and the validation in your own words. So that's one of the critical elements of this essay. You, you need to be presenting your knowledge, your skill, and yourself. You have to put your take. And your take justified, explained, backed up, and supported by those who have influenced your work. The final thing I want to give you the heads up on right now. You have to address the questions. You have to present me an essay that answers this set of questions. If you present me a marketing plan, you fail. If you present me a SWOT analysis, you fail. If you present me a pest analysis, you're gone. Fail. So, don't do it. Don't panic. Don't suddenly think, oh my god, I'm writing a marketing paper. It has to have, it has to be a marketing plan. Or it has to be a, a spot analysis and throws down something that is not the answer to those questions because you're doomed if you do that. And I will enjoy seeing your grade below 50%. Now I want you to understand something about this assessment task is this is the heavy end of the hammer. This is the difficult one. This is the task which is the separation point because this is the one where you are going to have had the most amount of time, the most amount of background preparation and it's the one where I can lean on you the hardest. So I will be the hardest on this essay. I will push you on this essay and I'll expect the most of you. So get it right and also get it right because you can. You have the opportunity now to do this well. There is no curve on this task. If you do it well, you will be rewarded. If you do it poorly, you will not be rewarded. 
So if you do it well, expect a high set of points. You can, in fact, as a result of the first three assessment tasks, pass the course outright. And this essay has a lot of points on offering. You can double your position in the course. It is 30 points. You have done 30 points previously. You can double your previous score. You can set yourself up to, for a nice, relaxed exam. So put a lot of effort into this, really. Work on it over time. Use Google Scholar. Use the books. Use the resources. And prep in advance. Get your team together early or go out solo early. And also think about this for one last factor. This is going to give you an overview of the whole of the subject. The exam will assess the whole of the subject. This essay can be used to prepare yourself for the exam and set yourself up with a really strong base of knowledge of marketing, of knowledge of marketing theory, of references that you've paid attention to or that you understand and you know. And then, when you walk into the exam room, you're ready. And it's going to be a much easier exam if you put a lot of effort into this essay.